Good afternoon, I'm Danny and welcome to Black Hat Betting. Uh, we are now so far into my uh, 50k challenge. I think we're about day 12, day 14 maybe. Um, I'm not entirely sure now, so I might actually stop saying that. But anyway, right. So there's been lots of comments on yesterday's video, um, which is all very useful. Thank you very much. I'm doing my best to try and take everything on board. Um, but there is so much to take on board. So if I don't notice it, please keep pointing it out. Um, and I, I do really appreciate it, actually. Um, so yeah, so keep going. Um, I've just had a little trade here, um, 5p, um, £3 stakes accidentally again. Um, so I'm actually going to increase my stakes today to £5 just to liven things up a bit. Um, I'm a bit late also. Um, I've been out all day kind of washing a car and getting ready for the weekend shenanigans. Um, so yeah, so right, this is this is the first race, 5p profit. Uh, I'm going to go to the next one and then it's only going to be a few races today so I might actually show you some of my actual trading and you can really pick fault with it then, um, which is all good, all constructive. Um, but yeah, right, let's see what the day holds for us. Right, I thought I would um, talk you through my thinking um, of this race. Um, so I've got a market view overview over here um, and the volume seems to be fairly even across so there's from that there's an even amount of money coming in we're still eight minutes before the race so there's not really a great deal of volume um, there's only 38 grand uh, in it so far so it is going to be I'd say quite volatile um, but I'm only going to be trading the favorite I don't really want to confuse things with going into anything else um, from what I gather from everyone else um, just concentrate on one horse at the moment god facebook um so yes yeah, so that's what i'm doing i think this one's going to keep coming back in um but i'm not going to trade it just yet i'm going to go in in the last five minutes like everyone has been telling me on youtube so yeah so anyway let's see so that's at 5.1 at the moment um so let's see where that goes to see if my prediction's right and then we can um yeah, hopefully anyway, right. Okay, so that was lucky. Um, it was around here that I said I was going to, uh, I thought it was going to come in. But it's actually drifted out quite far. Um, but it's still quite a lot of money. You know, still a lot of volume on that, on what's up, Woody. So, yeah, I don't see anything steaming in as such. This one's coming in a bit. Um... Will it continue? We've still got three minutes before the end. I'm not sure about this race. I don't think I'm gonna. Don't think I'm gonna have a play. Quite a bit of money coming in now. Six hundred quid a minute or a second. I don't really know, but yeah, this is drifting way out now. 26% of the money, Let's see, uh, what's up with his twice there, look, let me go and reorder this, dun, dun, dun. Oh, what's up with his gone all the way over here now, um, so yeah, so this is coming in now, 28% of the money, how far will it go? If that's the bottom of the uh, where it's been before. That's where, uh, hmm. Anyway, right. I don't think I'm going to do anything with this one. It's. I don't really know what's happening now. This is drifting out now. Look. So the money's eased off there. Is it going on anywhere else? Yeah, this one's being backed in now. It's drifting out, being backed in. That's also drifting out as well. Only 900, 900 quid a second or a minute. Only a thousand pound, there we go, thousand pounds. This is really working now. So is this gonna be backed in? I think this is going to get backed in. That's going to carry on drifting out, which by the looks of it is. Yeah. I haven't done anything. 
didn't know where it's going to go. It looks like I see that's now starting to drift as well. This event will start in 60 seconds. 60 seconds. So this is a handicap chase. How much? Da -da -da. Five, eight. It should be fairly stable. Properly drifting out now. Hmm. Anyway, right. That's enough of me rambling on. Uh, anyone wants to jump in and tell me if I was talking absolute nonsense, then please do. In 30 seconds. In 30 seconds. Um, but right, let's go to the next race and see if I can get on something. Well, hey, at last. Nice little profit there, 17p. Got in around here. Anyway. So, yeah, quite good with that. Right, let's go to the next race and see what we can do. Right, so... This market here, which is the 1635 at Fontwell, which is just about five minutes away from me, actually, um, it's quite a quite a flat kind of graph. So I take a pun; it'd be good for scalping, um, but I don't want to do scalping because I've been well. I was told off for doing that. So, um, but yeah, I don't really know. Do I want to just go and nick a couple of ticks here and there? I mean, 49% of the volume's there. Nothing else really comes close. So this is either going to go one way or the other. Um, so I think it's going to come in. But how far? How far? Should we go there? So we've got quite a lot of money in it now. Um, 800 quid there, 300 grand, and I think I'm just going to nick some. Nick 10p, if I can. 10p, ooh, um, it'd be a lot nicer if that was like, you know, 20 quid, but quite a quick, easy trade. Um, but it's a flat market. So if anyone's got any ideas what to do here, that like, it's coming in now. That it's going to steam in. Uh, you see, I could have hung on for a seventeen p. It's coming back out again. See, it's very. I don't. This is uh, this stuff. I don't need. Don't understand. I need to. I need to learn a little bit more about this. It's a very flat market, so yes, it'd be good for scalping, um, but scalping's very risky. It can always go against you. Look at that. 2.94, I reckon that'll go out at. Just purely based on where the money's been. Anyway, right, let's move this on. This event will start in 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Let's turn that down. Um, right, let's move on now. Look. It's drifting out now. Does that mean something else is coming in? Can't see anything else coming in. Anyway, right, let's go to the next race. Right, I need to finish there. Um, I'm heading out this evening um, for dinner and whatnot. Um, so I've only traded 10 races, which is a lot less than I would normally do. However, I am ending the day with a profit which is the first time since starting trading and obviously starting the 50k challenge so 56p it's not groundbreaking or anything but it's a start in the right direction so thank you to everyone that's helped me across all the forums bet angel all the comments below have been really useful and fingers crossed this will be the start of regular profits and hopefully get me moving towards reaching that 50k target so thank you very much. Um, stick around. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Please leave any comments below. And I will catch up with you all in the next video. Good afternoon. I am Danny and welcome to Black Hat Betting. Today I am trading. Um, I didn't trade yesterday. I was actually at Goodwood um, for a track day event. Um, but yeah, so I've had lots of people comment. And send me messages and give me lots of advice, which is all very cool. I'm taking it on board, so hopefully, fingers crossed, today may be a day I show a profit. Um, so, yeah, so I've already started trading. I've got in um, just at five minutes. 
um, well, a minute ago um, over here, and it's um, it looks like it's going to keep going down. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, so, any tips, advice, helps? I am all ears. So anyway, enjoy the video and I'll catch up with you all very soon. I've traded about four races now and it just doesn't seem to be any money money in the markets. It all seems very low and the charts are all a bit sketchy. So I'm not entirely sure how the day is going to go, but it's not looking too good to be honest. Okay, so I've got this little trade going on. I'm using pound stakes. Uh, I think I've got two pound in at the moment. Um, so I'm probably going to get out about here, that's what I'd like to, but I doubt it's going to get that far. Oh, but you can 